Virgo, say my lovies. I said Virgo, say my lovies. What's going on, Virgo, my love, love, lovies? How are you guys doing? Some of you are singing right now. Virgo, hey, my love. Hey, hey, my love. Hey, hey, my love. Sing it with me one time, sing. Hey, my love. Hey, my love. <laughs> I love you guys. I love singing to you. And I know so many of you love hearing me sing. So, Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, it kept, I shuffled these cards about four times and it said, you're always on my mind. So, somebody is constantly thinking about you, either from the time they met you or just always since you left their presence last. Whatever the case may be, somebody is always thinking about you. So, we're going to get started with these cards here and then we're going to take it from there. Let's see what message Spare has for you and what's in your overall energy this evening. What you may be thinking about your person and what your person may be thinking about you. Let's tap in and put our ears to the street. What's happening, Spirit? What's happening? If you are looking for your prayers on the previous video, um, if you don't know who I am, hello, lovey. I'm Empress Samik, your spiritual guide, and I'm here to shine some light on your situation. This is a channel of high vibrations, healing, and motivation and encouragement. So enjoy. Welcome to the family. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button for your girl. So we can keep pushing them out and pushing them out, pushing them out, knocking them out one by one. You feel me? Let's go. Spirit, thank you so much for bringing me here with my soul tribe, my family, my lovies. Give us messages of clarity, truth, love, and light. Thank you. For my Virgos. Make sure you um, subscribe to our new channel, Tell See What Empress Me. Go over there, guys. We need you. All right, let's see. Nothing else came out. Bottom of the deck. I will find my way back to you one day. What did I tell you? I tried to told you that they won't stop. I tried to told you that they won't stop. You feel me? They, they're on you, Virgo. Like white on rice. Okay, what you do to this person? What did you do to this person? They can't stop thinking about you. Something that you don't know. These two were turned over. First thing you do know, you had a strong feeling about this one. And pretty soon they revealed themselves, I feel. I was pretending to be someone else. Wow. <laughs> they were so insecure. All right. Well, they had to pretend to be somebody else to get you, Virgo, because you weren't falling for their bullshiggity. This was hidden. They miss you. Something that you do not know. Okay. Next. Friends and family disapprove of this connection. Hmm. All right. So this could give you an indicator of who it is. Their friends and family disapprove of this connection. Feel like somebody probably tried to do whatever they could do to tear this connection apart. Ain't they petty? They just so petty and bored. But anyway, it's okay. So I got them. All right. This was just a fling. So either it was a fling between you and them or they were dealing with someone and they cheated on you or stepped out of the relationship or whatever. They crossed you, lied, something, and it was just a fling. Let's find out a little bit more about this situation and this person and what's going on here. Okay? This time we're going to get the tarot cards and clarify. I don't want these. I want these cute ones over here. So let me get the tarot cards really quickly. Let's see... Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods. Or by this message for us. A little bit further. Who's missing, my Virgo? What energy is this, please? Show us clear messages. Wow. Somebody that you may have been in a lover situation with. For some of you, it's a Gemini. All right. For some of you, it's a water sign. Love, harmony, relationships, alignment, and choice. Wow. This is some type of twin flame energy, soulmate energy here. I'm feeling that. I miss you. So even if you haven't explored that option, it's potential, it's potential there for that type of connection. Okay. Show me more, please. Who's this person? What's their sign of spirit? Okay. We got the page of swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody is having a new idea. Somebody's thinking about you. Maybe sending you a message or wanting to know something. Somebody could be sending you a text message or something like that. Um, you may get a message from this person soon. It's only a matter of time. Okay. 
Let's go to I was pretending to be someone else. Why? Show me clear messages for Virgo. They were pretending to be someone else. Knight of Coins. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. Hey, Taurus. <laughs> Hard work, productivity, routine, and conserve. Somebody could have been pretending to be available. Um, somebody could have been pretending to be anything. Maybe somebody was pretending to be in innocent when they're really a beast or something. You know, they were out for blood. Like, they were looking at you like you were the prey, Virgo. Okay, you never know. But somebody here wasn't being their full and true self, okay? And let me see. Why were you pretending for Virgo? Why were you pretending? Why was this person pretending for it? Hmm. Four of coins, saving, security, conservative, control, and scarcity. Um, because I feel like they were doing that for the four of coins. Um, they have to hold on to their money. I feel like they're already involved with somebody or they're already giving to a situation. So it's scarce energy that they have. They don't really have much to give. Right now, they can't give. I feel like they're not available to give, right? I do. And I feel like that's why they were pretending. They didn't want you to know that because then you would have showed absolutely no interest. This person knows that. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. So this person could be involved already. Or this person's family knows you and or their friends know you and they don't really like you two together. Something of that nature. So we got the tower card. Something crashing down, coming crashing down because it was built on lies and a faulty foundation. We got the Eight of Coins, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo once again. Usually that's Virgo. Somebody that was not working on a situation given their all or somebody chose not to work on something. Eight of Wands, <clears throat> focused action, fast-paced alignment. So I feel like, or this is the Tower card happening because now all of a sudden somebody wants to work towards something. The Tower doesn't always mean bad energy. It just means that something is under a sudden upheaval. Something is changing suddenly. Changing the everyday routine or cycle as you know it. Okay? So, with this Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands, somebody could be messaging somebody. Somebody could have gotten a call or seen somebody or it's going to be fast-paced action. Some kind of way somebody is going to see somebody here. And it could have something to do with a fire sign and an earth sign. Or um, this is saying that there's not going to be a meeting. All right. There will be no working together or seeing each other in some situation. Because friends or family disapprove of this connection. Or they're already involved. Because if they have a significant other, of course, that would be friends and family disapproving. This was just a fling. Wow, five of coins. So somebody could have been flirting with you or just leading you on when they know that they couldn't really be with you or they couldn't explore this option. So somebody left you out in the cold or they're telling you that they left somebody out in the cold. Five of coins, death card, yes. So somebody is putting an ending to this or somebody is, yeah, somebody is ending a situation Somebody could have been playing the one night stand or being the other woman and somebody put it into it. They're like, no more of that. Wow. And you shouldn't be lowering your standards. <laughs> and I feel like this could have been somebody ending something with a fire sign. All right. So this could be an earth sign ending something with a fire sign, leaving a fire sign out in the cold or a fire sign deciding not to do anything with this earth sign because they already are involved. I will find my way back to you one day. We got the lion again, this emperor. Somebody is married here and burdened. So I feel like somebody is already um, in a relationship. Somebody is also a business person, a business, a leader, a businessman or something like that. Or um, a boss, male or female energy. And I feel like also this could be a husband. Ten of wands, burden, responsibility, hard work and completion. So I feel like this person is in the midst of a storm. And they really don't have time to focus on anybody else. This person is dealing with some things in their own life right now. I will find my way back to you one day. Wow. Devil. This person has some type of strange attraction to you. Could be borderline obsession. All right. But somebody is in this shadow energy where they're just giving into their temptation. Giving into addiction. This could mean sex because this person wants to really have sex with you. So they're definitely going to try to find their way back. 
All right, I just wanted to clarify these cards before we move on. Let's see what else is in your energy, guys. Let's get some more Oracle cards and see, and then we will get your final tell message and close out your reading. Let's see. We're going to leave this energy here, and let's pull some more cards to find out what else is going on around you. For my Virgo spirit, show me clear messages, please, for my Virgos. What's going on around Virgo? What's happening? What does Virgo need to know? What made Virgo not be coming? Show me clear messages, please. For Virgo. Worth the wait. Somebody's going to meet somebody that feels like it's very much worth the wait. Wow. Friends or family disapprove of this connection. So somebody's thinking about you a lot. Somebody's about to get some good news here. Pissed off. Oh my goodness. Somebody is mad. Getting caught. Secrets revealed. Exposed. Guilty. Confession. Somebody is going to admit something. Feel like they're going to spill the beans. They're going to be telling you things without telling you things. You're going to pick up on everything. Um, somebody's overloaded with work. Friends with benefits is what they seek. But they're saying, I really like you. I hope that this can lead to something more. But right now, they're saying that this is just a fling. I feel like they're already involved or they're not looking at this as anything serious, this opportunity. Okay. For this I Miss You card, I feel like that's somebody from the past or somebody that you met a while ago. Or you met them and they haven't seen you or they can't see you or whatever the case may be. But let's get into this new energy down here. Let's move this over. Yeah, I was going to leave it there, but it doesn't have anything to do with the cards that came out. Well, it, it has something to do with the cards that came out before. So now, this is some new energy. And I feel like, let's see. We're going to determine if it has something to do with the ones at the top. So right now, worth the wait. Divine timing, manifesting, true love is coming sooner than you think. So I feel like you're going to meet somebody and it's going to be amazing. All right. You just have to take your time. All right. And don't rush anything. Wow. You see that the time on this clock. I'm just saying, Virgo, just be mindful of everything that's happening in your life and take your time. Okay. Just take your time. It's worth the wait. Don't rush anything. And don't take a loser when you got a winner right around the corner. Let these sneaky cheaters and liars be whatever they're going to be. But don't don't let them in your energy, Virgo. Because if they don't mean you any good. And no matter how good it looks, how fine they are, how big the package may be or booty may be, it doesn't matter. Okay? you It's not worth a heartbreak. And it's not worth you um, giving somebody your heart that's just going to trample it. Right? It really is not. Marriage material is coming towards you. Take your time for saying, please don't mess this up. Marriage material, I hate nothing about you. Also, somebody looks at you like your marriage material. They know they met a good thing when they met Virgo, baby. They already know. They already know. Addiction. So, somebody in the past <laughs> is, is doing this. It says, when I'm stressed about you, I drink or smoke. So somebody is seriously stressing, Virgo, you could be thinking about somebody and it got you stressing. you like, oh my God, let me smoke a blunt or let me get whatever you call it <laughs> so I can get my head clear. But no, spirit doesn't want you to do that. Keep your energy clear so you can manifest properly. You don't want to just blow your money and then you won't get any more. Like, come on, I'm trying to teach you guys how to be rich. <laughs> Experience the unknown. The door is waiting for you to walk through something blissful. Okay, it's waiting on the other side. So some of y'all are doing something outside of the box. And Spirit is welcoming that energy saying, yes, I'm going to meet you halfway. Go ahead. Take the big leap of faith just to see what happens. Let me show you how I work and who I am. All right? Spirit wants you to try to release control and just embrace. Okay, time to experience the unknown, something that you've never done before. That's what this card is talking about, somebody doing something that they've never done before. And it flipped over, like this is something that you keep a secret, and nobody's going to know until you get there. Good news. It says good news is coming, happy and excited. So you're going to be very happy and excited about something that's coming. And I feel like it has something to do with some money, Virgo. Piss off, get prepared, get caught. Somebody is going to get caught, secrets revealed, exposing, guilty, and confessions. So, yeah, something is going to piss you off, okay? Or either this person is going to be pissed off. 
work overload, working too hard, too much work, stretching yourself too thin, sleep decline. So somebody could be working way too hard and be very, very tired. Spirit is encouraging you to get some rest. All right, guys, let's clarify these cards down here. We love it. Let's see what this energy is. Spirit, show me clear messages for my Virgos. What is this energy worth the wait? What's coming for more Virgo, please? Let me just shuffle them one time to wake the cards up. Even though I already shuffled them. For Virgo, Spirit, show Virgo what is worth the wait, please. Eight of Pentacles, somebody that is going to work well with you. I feel like you're going to meet somebody. Eight of Pentacles energy, and you guys are going to be working together, mastering your future, mastering each other, just working on the connection, on the commitment, and it's going to be one thing at a time. Wow, Virgo, I feel like you're going to meet somebody, and it's going to just be a match. You're going to be so happy, and I feel like you could be working when you meet this person, just minding your business, working. Somebody could sell candles or thinking about making candles or doing candles. I feel like you're about to do some type of holistic shop. Or start working with herbs and candles and all this other stuff. It's going to be really, really good. It's going to work well. Everything is going to happen in divine timing. You're going to have everything going on that you want. Marriage material. Wow, this King of Pentacles here knows that they met a wife or a husband. Well, I feel like the King of Pentacles energy could be just Virgo in their in their in their power, big Virgo energy. You could be a boss or a leader. All right, you could just have a lot of money, baby, a lot of money. Okay, <laughs> or you have a King of Pentacles that's interested in you, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and they want to start talking. Somebody's gonna reach out to you finally and be talking to you with this Ace of Swords energy. I feel like it's going to be a new connection all right you somebody to talk to every day somebody to call you and check on you somebody to get to know and hate nothing about you there somebody is so impressed with your energy they really like you a lot addiction they feel like their hands are tied they feel trapped they feel like they can't stop this stuff like they can't change anything right now so they're getting hot as a kite because they can't come towards you that is crazy, <laughs> but they are. They like, man, I cannot take it. For some of y'all, it's Virgo. For some of y'all, it's you doing that. Yeah, because you can't get this person. You're trying to figure things out. You don't know what's next. So, you getting high? It's true. We got Page of Pentacles here. So, somebody, you're going to get some good news. All right, about this experience in the unknown, this is going to be some good news. I feel like you're investing in this. So somebody could be taking a trip, doing something that you have never done before. And Spirit is saying you have something amazing coming out of this change that you're putting in your energy. You're going to add dimension to your life and you're going to open up new doors and opportunities for you because you took the leap of faith. Spirit is going to meet you halfway on this. Show me good news, please. Dang. The fool. Okay, I feel like I flipped that in reverse. So there's going to be some good news, excited news coming, excited about a new beginning or a trip, planning a trip, taking a leap of faith, somebody's going on a trip or something, something about water, traveling. Wow. All right, this is talking about you being stronger than you thought. Somebody can have a Leo that is super pissed off. Oh, this is a fire sign. Okay, so... All right, so hold on. Somebody has a fire sign that is super pissed off. I feel like there's something that you're holding back from, and it's this pissed off person. Like, golly, look at this person. Look at this. Get prepared, because this person going to be mad. They're going to be so pissed off, because they got caught, secrets revealed, exposed, guilty, confession. So something is going to happen where somebody is super pissed off, and you're holding back from this person. All right, and you're deciding to be solo. Like, you're like, nope, I don't got time for that. I'm staying by myself. Your angels are here trying to provide balance because somebody is, they're not, they're going to be mad, cussing, fussing. You guys are going to be having some type of dispute, argument, or something. So get prepared because this person is mad. This could also be um, a Sagittarius in your energy that is pissed off. Work overload. Show me work overload.
Time to get some rest, Virgo. Time for you to take a break. Spirit wants you to get some rest. Time to spend some time with spirit. Isolate yourself a little bit. Go into hermit mode for a bit. Yeah, time to spend some time with spirit. Tap into your spiritual side. Okay? Some, do some downloads for you to get. And you definitely, definitely need to take some rest. Take some time for yourself. Okay? All right, guys, this is what I have for your reading, my love, love, lovey. So get prepared. You got some new energy coming towards you. Justice is yours. This is a fair, karmic, and just decision for you. All right, so things are looking up. Prepare for some new um, energy to come into your life. Somebody's going on a trip, and they're going to get good news about it. It's going to go well, and I feel like while you're gone, you are going to be amazed. All right, my love, love, loveies, I will talk to you sooner than later. If you want to book a personal reading, you can book it at Closer Than Number Two, My Destiny. Um, if you are not computer savvy, you can email me at, I mean, yeah, well, you got to know how to do an email. But you can email me at Closer Than Number Two, My Destiny, the number one at gmail.com, and I'll be happy to book your reading for you. All right, guys, until next time, I love you to life. Thank you for everything you do for our channel. Bye, my 